Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Alex. If this is one of the first videos you're watching, then you're in a good place because for the longest time, a lot of you guys have actually been asking to get to know my family a little bit more, which I honestly never thought you guys would want to get to know my family more. So I'm finally doing a Q&A with you guys, but I'm also kind of doing a get ready with me because insert name here actually sent me two of their products and one of them is their new hot tool brush, which is in this box. I literally just just filmed the part where I did my hair like this so I figured I would just do the intro when I was like put together but for today's video I will be testing that out and then I will also be answering some questions that you guys had about my family so you guys get to know me and my family a little bit more So this is the new hot tool that insert name here came out with. It is a hot brush. On the box it says insert sleek hair here and then it's just their straightening brush and it has ceramic bristles, two inches wide brush head. It just has some information on the box. This is their new brush. Oh my god, how pretty is it? It has the peach with rose gold accents, which you guys can see right here it has the rose gold accents and then the black bristles and then on the back it just has their logo that says insert name here i love their logo i think it's really pretty and i just absolutely love all the products that they've gifted me so far i saw this on their social medias and then they offered it to me and i was like yes i cannot wait to try it and guys i think my hair turned out so good and it was so fast i wasn't expecting it to work so fast and for some reason i thought that it would make noise but it's silent this heats up to 450 degrees i was using it around 375 when i did my hair this distributes the heat evenly and as you guys can see it added shine to my hair i didn't put any product or anything i just came straight out the shower i let it air dry and then i started using this and in no time at all it literally made my hair go from like a hot mess to looking like this, like sleek, beautiful, I love it. It was so effortless. This is also gonna be super good for second day styling because it'll just be like super quick. You just brush your hair and then boom, that's it. This retails for $72. I do have a promo code, it is Alexandra15. If you guys wanna shop, I will have it in the description also, but I suggest that you get the bundle. There is a bundle with this brush and the next product that they gifted me, which I saw this originally on my last package, but it was sold out. So as soon as they got back in stock, when they offered me this, I saw that this was in stock. So I was like, can I have this one too, please? And they were super nice. I love working with them. They are such an amazing company to work with. So they agreed to send me their brush. And first of all, look at the box. It says, don't be naughty. But you see how they spelt naughty? Because it's a hairbrush, get it? And your hair gets knots the cutest packaging so in this box comes this hairbrush which so good i just absolutely love it the way it goes through my hair the bristles and everything sorry it's a little bit you know there's my hair is there which is gross but i've literally been using this every single day all the time i'm i'm that obsessed with it it just does an amazing job brushing my hair so i'm so sorry that you are gonna see uh my hair in this but whatever these are the bristles and then on the back, it says, brush your worries away. How cute. And I love how it's white, again, with the little peachiness, which is super cute. And these bristles are just amazing. This is like a wood. And the bristles are just so good. Like, I can't explain it. This brush is definitely one of the best brushes out on the market, whether you have curly hair, straight hair, anything in between. They have their bundle right now, which is what I suggest you guys get because I absolutely do love both of these. They have this hairbrush and this hairbrush for, I think, $87.30 on their website. Plus, you can use my promo code, so you're welcome. Run, don't walk to add these to your cart. And you guys are also going to be able to win your own set of these because they're participating in my 10k giveaway so i actually have two of everything for you guys well not for you guys i have two of everything so one of them is for me one of each box is for me and one of each is for you guys i'm still deciding whether i want the winner to receive both products but i am i think having two different prizes so i might put the hot brush for one of the giveaway winners and the other brush for the other 
thinking about doing that i'm not too sure yet but i will have a video explaining and showing you guys everything you can win and how to enter and all of that so i'm super excited for that so you guys thank you to insert name here for participating in my giveaway i'm so excited these prizes are going to be so good i can't wait to show you guys everything that you guys will be able to win i'm just gonna stop rambling and my hair is gonna be a mess in three two one all right so this is what my hair looks like it's super puffy but i did just go in with my hairbrush that they gave me and just brushed it out a little bit i'm obsessed with this brush it's seriously so good you guys i cannot rave about this brush enough i just quickly brushed my hair it's still a little bit damp i want to say it's probably like 90 percent dry first you open it this is so freaking pretty look at that then it has a nice long cord i'm just gonna plug it in highest it goes is 450 and then it can go down and I think I'm just going to keep it around 355. We're going to do 355. This is going to start heating up. Oh, wow. It already started heating up. I love it. The, like, multi-layers. I'm just going to do my hair by parts. And I also wanted to do a fun little, like, Q&A. That way you guys don't get bored of watching me do my hair. So, I'm just going to tie this up. Hold on. I'm going to look a little crazy, but it's fine trust the process it's fine i'm just gonna grab a strand of hair like this and i guess brush it through i guess nice and slowly brush it not too sure let's see oh wow oh that was so quick what the heck so question number one is where are you guys from so we are from Guatemala. Both my parents were born in Guatemala and my brother and I were actually born here in Canada. Speaking of brother, there was a question asking how many siblings I have and how old they are. So I only have one brother, one older brother, and he is five years older than I am. Guys, look how this is working so good and so fast. Wow, I was not expecting that. I'm gonna have to speed up these questions next is what's your favorite meal to share as a family so we don't really honestly share too many meals growing up we used to share a lot more meals together but now i feel like our favorite thing is definitely barbecue and my dad makes a mean steak on the barbecue and my mom makes these really delicious um, potatoes with like spicy sauce that i'm obsessed with they're so good i've been obsessed with them since i was literally like 10 years old they're so good so i feel like that or pizza honestly we love pizza in this house like pizza is just always a good vibe question number three what is your favorite thing to do with your family it used to be camping we used to go camping every single year with like a bunch of our close family friends and family and i used to be obsessed with camping i still love camping to this day but now that i'm older honestly it's a bit more scary than what i remember it used to be but i used to love going camping like the parents would always just chill by the campsite while they let like the kids explore and with me and my cousins i was the youngest and i'm also one of the only girls there's like five of us and we're each a year apart and my brother being the oldest so that was always really fun we would just go explore and do our own thing we would go to the beach we'd play hide and seek in the forest like it was so much fun growing up that's definitely one of my favorite things to do as a family with them but now I feel like with COVID and everything, we also got Jenga not too long ago, which is actually so much fun to play with my parents. They're just a good time and my brother as well. But mostly all of us kind of just do our own thing, but we're still very close as a family. Like I love my parents and my brother to pieces, but we're also very busy people. My brother's in law school and my parents actually own their own business. So I know that was another question, like what your parents do. Some of you know that they have a business, other ones don't. But yes, my parents have their own business and they are very occupied. They stay very busy with their business. Look at my hair. That was so fast. Let me just quickly grab another layer. I'm actually loving this. I thought it was going to make my hair frizzy, to be honest, but it's not making my hair frizzy at all. It's actually leaving it super sleek. So now that we have that, I'm going to grab my butterfly clip, which I'm obsessed with, also from insert name here. And I just like to do the top like this. It's going to look a little crazy, but it's fine. We have a little butterfly on the top of our head. 
Um, but yeah, so they own their own business. I don't want to say what their business is or anything, but they are their own bosses. They make their own hours, and sometimes I do help out at their business for like social media for their business. My brother also works at their business. They've had it for about five years, I think going on to six years, and thankfully with COVID and everything, their business has still been doing okay, and they're not really suffering in their business, so I'm very thankful for that, but that is... Well, my parents do yeah I literally cannot say how proud I am of them to start their own business and be their own bosses and honestly when I say I look up to my parents I really do look up to my parents because they are just goals in my opinion they're super funny they're very laid-back they love to just be spontaneous and I feel like that's where I get it from I mean I went skydiving with my boyfriend once and it was like the randomest hey, you wanna go skydiving? Yeah, sure, let's do it. And we went skydiving. Even when my boyfriend and I went to Barcelona, it was just like, Barcelona's really pretty and I'd love to go one day. And then it was just like, let's just go. Like, let's just hop on a plane and let's just go. And that's how my parents are, especially with traveling. Like, I really do look up to them and admire them and really do hope that one day, you know, I can be like them and make them proud. I know I do already make them proud, but yeah, I just, I love my parents and I'm super close with them. I'm close with my brother. Um, my mom and I actually have matching tattoos, if you guys didn't know. As you can see, it's a heart, and if you notice, the heart is open. Like, it's not locked into a heart, and my mom wanted that when we were talking about what tattoo we wanted. My mom wanted that, and it was kind of her way of saying, like, her love will always go into the heart. Like, her love will always just be able to go in and fill me and be there for me, and I actually really like that. So, yeah, we got matching tattoos for my 21st birthday. It was kind of spontaneous, as I mentioned, and my dad had no idea that my mom and I were gonna do this. Um, my dad was at work, and I think it was my mom's day off, and my birthday was approaching, and she was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, let's get matching tattoos, and she literally said yes which i was not expecting at all and so i called my boyfriend i'm like my mom just said we can get tattoos like we're gonna get matching tattoos and literally my boyfriend was at my house within half an hour and i was like we gotta go before she changes her mind so we called the tattoo place they had space for us and yeah i got matching tattoos and then i got another tattoo what are your horoscope signs so my brother and i are both gemini's which is pretty interesting because my brother, uh, I don't know if I want to say his name or not, but I think I've said his name before, but I kind of want to keep a little bit of their life private. I don't want anything I put on the internet to like affect them in any way. But my brother and I are both Geminis, and it's super funny because we are opposites, but also very similar. And I actually do call him my twin, although we're not the same in age, but the Geminis are twins. And so little things like he loves tomatoes, I don't like tomatoes. I like onions, he doesn't like onions, I like pickles sometimes, he doesn't like pickles. I'm more outgoing where he's more serious, um, but we're also very similar too. It's just so weird to explain, but I feel like we are definitely Geminis. My brother was born on June 16th, and I am born on May 31st. My mom is a Virgo, and she was born September 4th. And then my dad, I believe, is a Taurus? Next question, where did your parents meet? So my parents met back home in Guatemala when they were really young. I want to say they were both around the age of 17 when they met. They then immigrated here to Canada. They just celebrated their 31st wedding anniversary January 26th, I believe. My mom's going to see this. She's going to be like, how do you not know our anniversary? But I think it was January 26th, if I'm not mistaken. Before we get into the next question, I think this might be the last question because I'm almost done my hair. That was so fast. And I could do it in pieces, but for the last part, I think I'm just gonna do it regular. My hair is crazy right now, but I think we're gonna have one more question because honestly, I feel like this is going really fast and I wasn't prepared. I thought it was gonna take longer. Last question is, how do your parents feel about your channel? So my parents have always been super supportive with me and I'm always so thankful for the way that they raised me. I definitely want to raise my children the way my parents raised me because they've always just been super supportive. They've always been there for me but at the same time given me my space to kind of learn and grow but they never let me fall is how I like to see it. So like, no matter what I did, my parents were very open to me trying everything, whether it was sports, I wanted to join a club, I wanted to try this, I wanted to do that. They were always 100% behind me no matter what. Like, they were very supportive. They never really had any doubts. 
They always kept me in check and they always let me do it myself, but if I ever needed their help, they were always right there for me to catch me if I fall. Even with my YouTube channel and everything, they're still super supportive. They've never told me not to do it. They don't ask too many questions about it because they don't really understand it, but at the same time, they see me getting a lot of packages. And honestly, I think at first they did not believe me when I said that I was not paying for the packages and that I was getting them. Like, I think at one point they thought I just had a major shopping addiction and they would tell me like, you know, save your money, buy a house, you need to save this, that, and the third. And I feel like now they're kind of just getting more used to it now that I hit 10,000. They're very supportive. When I brought home that cake that my boyfriend got me, ice cream cake that said 10,000 subscribers, they were very proud of me. So I'm very thankful that my parents are like that. They've always been like that growing up. It was always whatever I wanted to do, they would give me the freedom to do that. Well, like to an extent, like nothing crazy. And I feel like that was very good for us to build our relationship. Now that I'm older, like I love my parents to pieces. I literally have such a great relationship with not only my parents, but my brother as well. Same with my brother. He has been very supportive to me the older we get. All of us are just there for each other, which I think is amazing. I'm so impressed with this brush, by the way. Family wise, I want to say 90% of my mom's family is back home in Guatemala. We have none of them in Canada. We have a few of them in Los Angeles. And on my dad's side, we have my uncle who lives in London, Ontario, my grandma who lives in downtown Toronto, and my aunt who lives in Victoria, BC. And then everybody else is, again, back home in Guatemala. So a lot of my family is back home. We don't get to see them that often my mom and i went two years ago actually right before covid my mom and i actually took a plane and we went to guatemala for a week hopefully this video is like entertaining i don't really know but i figured i would just answer some questions because you guys did want to know about my family and like i said i thought this was gonna take a lot longer this took like 20 minutes to do my hair i was curious to see how it would go close to my edges but it looks like it's fine i'm only using the viewfinder to do this so hopefully my hair is looking good from the viewfinder it looks great so i'm hoping that it looks good but i think that's it how did it turn out is it cute is it good honestly like i'm still surprised how short of a time it took to do that one i thought it was gonna take a lot longer and two i thought it was gonna make some sort of like sound like a blow dryer sound i don't know why but i just thought it would make that so the fact that it's silent is really good because you could just use it whenever it doesn't make noise i really like the brushing like motion that it does because it's like a two-in-one it brushes your hair and it straightens it absolutely love it i think my hair turned out nice and again super not time consuming look at that I like it. Let me show you guys in the back in case I did something wrong. Hopefully, I did a good job. But like I said, I was using the viewfinder, so. But that is everything for today's video. Definitely make sure you guys are subscribed because you could win your own, which I'm so excited for. Keep your eye out for my 10K giveaway. You might want to turn on your notifications because that video is coming sooner than you guys think. But yeah, thank you to Insert Name here for the goodies. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!